Hi everyone, so I am back with another video. Um, this is going to be an empties video, so you can see I have my box of empties in front of me here. So let's just dive in and see what we have been using up recently. So the first thing that we have on top here is this Derma V10 permanent hair colour. Um, and these are like £1 each, these hair dyes. And these are really, really good. I've used these in various different shades. Um, and if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I'm forever changing, like chopping and changing my hair colour and things. So I do really like these hair dyes and I would definitely recommend them. You can pick them up in places like Pound Shop, um, Savers, Home Bargains, b and I think as well. Um, and like I say, they're only a pound. They come in a huge shade, um, like shade range as well. So we definitely recommend those. Then we have our trusty old favourite, which is featured in every single video of mine, Batiste Dry Shampoo. This is in the scent Cherry. I really, really enjoy this. We do actually have another one here. This is like a big, big one. Um, so yeah, this is in the scent Tropical and... I thought it said coconut there. It does say coconut there. Coconut and exotic. So it's like the tropical scent. Really, really love Batiste. And it'll always be featured in my empties videos. What else do we have in here? So we have... This is a PS Hydrating Mineral Water Mist. I picked these up in Primark a little while ago. Quite a while ago now, actually. And I paid 30 pence each for them. Um, But here in the UK, the weather has been hit and miss but we have had some really really nice weather as well so i've been popping these into the fridge and like getting them really really nice and cool and obviously when we're outside in the heat obviously in our back garden so we haven't been anywhere um it's really really nice and refreshing just to kind of mist over your face when you start to get a bit hot and sweaty and things and um, i don't think primark actually do these anymore but these were really really good and um, I have a few more bottles of it which I'm using at the moment. Um, but yeah, I would definitely, definitely recommend that. Uh, what else do we have? We have a couple of shower gels here. So we have, I have two shower gels from the same brand here. Um, sorry guys, my dog has been a little monkey at the minute. She's currently sat on my knee, which is trying to escape everywhere. Um, so this is coconut shower gel and this one is lemon sherbet shower gel. Out of them both, I definitely preferred the lemon sherbet one much more. I don't know if I said these were from m &S Beauty, which is obviously um, Marks and Spencers here in the UK. Um, I did get these for a little gift at Christmas time, so I didn't necessarily go out and purchase these myself. Um, I don't think I would repurchase again, to be honest. Um, it was nothing kind of amazing about them. The scent was nice, but nothing flash, and I have had better before. So, although they were nice, just a nice shower gel, I don't think I'd go out and repurchase those. Um... What else do we have in here? So we have, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> we have this 48 hour active deodorant. This is just my deodorant. I picked it up from Aldi. I've used it a million times. Love it and it's really cheap as well. So nice deodorant. Then we have a Tresemme Colour Shine Plex Shampoo. This is a sulfate free shampoo and I got this one when I had hair extensions in. I don't have hair extensions in anymore. Um, but obviously when you use hair extensions, you're supposed to use a sulfate free system. It was nice. It smelled really, really good. Um, but obviously with sulfate free shampoos, they don't really lather up much. Um, and I really, really like the lather on a shampoo. Um, so I've just kind of used the rest of this off on my normal hair. Um, like I say, it was specifically for hair extensions. But I much prefer, like for my natural hair, I much prefer a shampoo that lathers up on the head. So I feel like I'm getting a really, really good clean. But I do like Tresemme as a brand. Um, what else do we have? So we have this 
Anatomicals Spray Misty from me Facial Spritz. Again, this was just like one of those Primark Facial Spritz ones. Um, just really nice, refreshing. I do like facial spritzes, especially in the summertime. Um, then we have this Avon Advanced Techniques Supreme Oils Duo Treatment Spray. This is for your hair. Half of it was kind of oil and the other half was water, so you used to have to give it like a good shake up before you used it. It says it's a duo treatment spray and yeah, um, it smelt really nice. I can't say I noticed a difference in my hair, I don't think, um, but it smelt nice and I have tried things from this range of Avon before advanced techniques range, like their hair care range. And I have really enjoyed them. So I would definitely try things from this brand again. Um, yeah, I would probably like, if I'm being honest, I would probably repurchase this again as well. So yeah, that is that one. Then we have a couple of um, like little mini things that I've used up by Soap and Glory. So the first thing is this Soap and Glory um body butter and this is in the scent naughty but spice this came out one christmas i don't think it was christmas gone i think it was the one before the scent of this is absolutely amazing like i would say for me personally even better than the original soap and glory scent so i absolutely love that and i just love the packaging of soap and glory stuff as well i find them absolutely amazing oh guys i've just seen that this one does say limited edition here so I don't think it's available all the time and um, so that was that one um, and I do like Soap and Glory if you've watched my channel for a long time you will know that so the next two things are again Soap and Glory and these are from like the um the normal range that they have that like in the original scent so I have a little scrub of your life and I do enjoy this product as well and um, I just kind of use this all over the body and stuff um, yeah so it's just like an um, exfoliator so really really like that one and then we have a little mini clean on me creamy moisture shower gel cream and again in the original soap and glory scent and use that one up would we purchase that again what else do we have in here let me see let me see so we have it two products by elf so the first one is the perfect finish hd powder this was oh if i can get it open yeah so this one is like completely empty it's totally done i'm just covering the mirror on this side so it doesn't blind you but this was obviously the perfect finish hd powder okay this is the original high definition powder this is my baby i have used this for years if you've watched my videos god like look how disgusting and dirty it is if you've watched my videos you will know i have used this product for years and years and years it's completely gone there's literally like nothing else in it um i don't think you can get this product anymore i've tried forever to get this and i can't find it anywhere um which is why i had to purchase one of those ones and let me tell you Although these both say that these are like a HD powder, this is not the same as this. This is amazing for me. It keeps my oil at bay. Um, it's just amazing. I can't get it anymore. I'm absolutely gutted. So I got this to try. It's not even in the same league. I didn't enjoy this. It doesn't keep my oil at bay. Obviously, this one's pressed and this one's loose. Um, but no, I, I wouldn't repurchase this one again. But if I could ever get my hands on that, I would definitely, definitely have that one again. You all know how much I love my Elf HD setting powder. Um, then we have like a few more um makeup items in here. So let me dive in. So I finished up with foundation. This is the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid. Um, I've used all of that. This is in the shade 21 Nude. Um, I did like this foundation, but I feel like if you've got dry skin, this is not going to work. Um, when I was using this during the winter time, I had um, obviously a little bit more drier skin because it was the winter time. It does dry out and I feel like this clung to dry patches. So I would say this is good for um, 
like normal to slightly oily skins um i would repurchase that one again yeah um what else what else what else we'll do these kind of little mini sample ones so i used up this Too Faced shadow insurance and equis eyeshadow primer um it was okay but i have used better i don't think i'd go out and buy that obviously that one's just a mini it came in a set but it was nice to try um, then I have a MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base Visage. I have loads of these little samples. Every time I ordered from MAC, I used to get sent these as samples. So I'm just kind of working my way through them. But I do enjoy this product, actually. I really do. Um, obviously, I don't need to buy a full-size one of them because I have that many samples. Um, then I used up this Cooler Classic Sunscreen. I think I got this in um, a beauty box a while ago. Um so this was obviously just like a sunscreen so that was just used up in the sunshine again i didn't notice any different from normal sunscreens that i buy um we have a ps smoky lash um mascara this is okay and um, this is just from primark um so it's really cheap um, and to be honest, I've been buying most of my mascaras from Primark lately because I feel like the prices of mascaras in the drugstore are like crazy. It's like £12. Um, so I have been buying most of my mascaras from Primark lately. Um, I have had this one before. It's okay. It's not the best. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I'd probably get it again if I was stuck and I was like, oh my God, I need a mascara. Um, like I say, it was only from Primark. Primark's mascaras are really, really cheap. Um, and yeah, um, I have another mascara here. And this is kind of like a deluxe mini one. And this is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. Now, I used to love this mascara. I'll just show you guys the wand on it. Um, can you see that? It is literally... A plastic wand now if you've been at my channel for the longest time you will know that my holy grail mascara is the cover girl lash blast in the big fat orange tube obviously you can't get it here in the uk absolutely gutted um but i loved that lash blush blast so much because of the rubber brush on it now this benefit bad gal bang does have a rubber brush on it um so like i say i used to love this mascara but i don't know what it is um lately i've been wearing it for like the last well i've just been using it up for the last few weeks and it transfers on me like mad um yeah like it just it comes underneath my bottom lashes and just leaves big black smudges um i don't know whether it's just because it's obviously getting to the end of the tube and it's getting a bit old now because i never used to have that problem or whether my skin's changed during lockdown or something that's become more oily but um yeah so that was my thoughts on that i did used to love it um and then the last two products that we have in this box is another one of my faves and you will have seen me mention this on my channel previously again another um goodie from primark this is the my perfect color liquid concealer and this one is in the shade nude beige these are like three pound and honestly i absolutely love this concealer i'll always repurchase it um so next time i go i'll pick one up if they have one in my shade if you guys haven't tried that i urge you to try it it's amazing and like i say for the price you cannot go wrong and then guys on to the last product and this is dr botanicals moroccan rose superfood facial oil i love this stuff i have another bottle on the go at the minute my last bottle that i've got this came in a beauty box um and then obviously i got another bottle of it from somebody who very kindly didn't use theirs and they sent it to me because i was raving about this saying how much i love it um but if i'm not mistaken this is really really expensive to buy this is um this is actually 15 mil and this has lasted me a long time although it says it's a facial oil it's not kind of oily that's really hard to describe but when you put it on i feel like it sinks straight into the skin it doesn't leave any oily residue on the top which is probably why i love it because 
I don't really like um, things that just kind of sit on the skin like oils and stuff but I feel like this one really really gets into the skin sinks in and I wake up the next I always put it on before bed and um, like after I've come out of the bath or the shower I've kind of cleansed, toned, exfoliated. I put this on before bed and I swear to God, I wake up the next morning and my face is baby soft. <laughs> it's like a baby's bum. Um, so yeah, I think it is really expensive to buy, but you know what? I would definitely, definitely, definitely repurchase it. It is that good for me. Um, so it just comes in like this little thing and you have like a little dropper here for it. Um, so obviously... It's completely empty, can you see down in the tube? Completely empty, but your oil will be in there and you would just use this pump to pick up a few drops and then I would just literally drop it on the face. Um, I just absolutely love it. I would definitely, definitely repurchase that. So, yes, guys, that is everything that I have used up over the last few months. Um. I feel like there's not as many in this empties as what there is in some of my others and that could possibly be partly to lockdown because we just haven't been out so I feel like I haven't been using that many um, products and things as like what I normally would. Um, I'm just putting all of these back in here because these will just go straight into the recycling. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's a little while since I've done an empties video as well and you guys always enjoy them and I really enjoy filming these ones as well. So yes, I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or comments, pop them down below. Please, please, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, like, that's obviously the thumbs up. <laughs> Um, and please, if you haven't already, um, please subscribe because it does help my channel out. Um, and I do really appreciate that. Um, yeah, and also don't forget to click that notification bell so you do get notified when I upload a new video to my channel. Um, because I have had a few messages from you guys telling me that you um, didn't get notified that my video had gone live or whatever. Um, so yeah. Be sure to click the notification bell and it will send you a notification each time I um, like post a story or post a new video. So yeah, so thank you so much for watching everybody and yes, I will see you all in the next one. Bye!